Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over some filmmaking gear that I use every day on set, but not in the same way that most people online talk about filmmaking gear, where they talk about the latest cameras and microphones and lenses and things that they use. I'm gonna be going over my grip bag and some of the things that I keep in my vehicle and bring with me on set to just about every shoot. I just recently got a few items in the mail, uh, packages and whatnot from Amazon, and today it was my day off so I just spent a couple uh, minutes just figuring everything out and just unpacking and organizing my bag and getting it ready for the next day of work and I thought you guys might be interested in kind of seeing what goes into a bag uh, like this for working on set so follow along check it out I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of my grip here Check it out. All right, so this is my grip bag and I just recently got a few things to add to it. Okay, so this is my grip bag. And I just recently got a few things to add to it. I got these knee pads. They're from this company called No Cry. No Cry. Um, they're for like flooring or like gardening or stuff like that, but I'm always hitting my knees when I'm on set. Or I'm always like on my hands and knees when I'm like laying dolly track or just, you know, doing grip work. Your knees just get torn up, I feel like, so. Got these to just kind of protect my knees. So, I'm gonna be adding this to my kit. Also, just picked these up. They're like a little pair of sharp pliers for cutting cables and doing like electrical work or also cutting zip ties. That's really key. So, here inside my kit, I have an electrical tester. So I can test circuits. I have a cheater. I have a couple of these little red whips on the, on the back here. These are key. I have a Sharpie, fat Sharpie. A couple of safety chains for rigging overhead. Also, in this pocket, I have some zip ties for, for rigging like a stair tube, things like that. And then I got this little guy so that I can just cut them off really fast. Also, moving on. I got my Leatherman. Leatherman's super handy. And then I just picked up this little Kydex sheath. And this Kydex sheath is freaking awesome, man. It just goes right on your belt. And then the regular uh, Leatherman just sits right down inside there and has pretty good retention holds it right in place so loving that and then I just picked up this little tool sheath for holding kind of all my necessary tools because sometimes this whole bag I don't carry it all everywhere I bring it to set but I don't carry it everywhere on set but this actually stays right on my belt along with my Leatherman and I keep that all the time on me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add this to the back here and carry this around with me. And as you can see, it kind of fits in there pretty nicely. I already have these channel locks that I carry around. These are super handy working as a grip. You can see there's just like a little uh, retention strap that goes right on your belt loop or on your, uh, yeah, your belt. And then on the front here, it's just Velcro, holds it in. I have a speed wrench. That's super handy for building frames, things like that. Then I have a C wrench, gotta have a C wrench. That's key. And that just goes right in the front there like that. And then that's my little kit that I carry around now. Yeah. Uh, 
on the inside of this bag, I have a headlamp. Headlamp is super awesome when you're working late at night or in a dark set or rigging something up overhead and you just need to be hands-free doing whatever you need to do or walking and you're carrying some gear gotta have a headlamp it's key and then c47s or clothespins and then a couple of these little micro clips uh, electrical tape that's really necessary for wiring cables and just taping things off taping square stock together things like that uh, another little tester voltage tester uh, I hate this thing because it always goes off in my pocket and drains the battery, but it is useful. And then a bunch of baby pins, different size, 3 8 and quarter, 20. A few different ones. So a lot of times I give these to camera, I rig up their monitor and stuff like that. So those are key. Keep those on me. And then on the main main area of my bag I carry a walkie-talkie pouch for your walkie-talkie and then I also have a couple of surveillances uh, headsets I have a few of them and also have a couple different types of work gloves I really like these Gorilla Grip work gloves um, they're, they're lightweight, but they actually protect pretty well. These I just got from the dollar store. They're kind of shitty, but they do the job. Here's another backup pair. They're just called work gloves. But hey, what can you get for a dollar? Pretty good. Oh, I'm filming another video, so there must be some ambulance going by. That's how it goes. Uh, I got some grip clips. And I have a couple of Cardis. I always keep a couple of Cardis in my bag. A lot of times there'll be Cardis on the truck, but I always like to bring my own personal Cardis to the set because I feel like I use these more than any other tool or any other way to rig things as a grip. So it's good to have a couple of Cardellini clamps. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my kit. Also inside my vehicle, I have uh, like a large hat, like a tactical camping boonie hat kind of thing, and that just keeps the sun off me. Also, sunglasses are really nice to keep. A water bottle, um, reflective vest, that's really key to when you're working at night or around a busy road. I like to put, have those things on me. Also, forgot that I wanted to add this uh, to my kit. It's just a it's actually cool, it's like three different things in one. It's a super bright like little area flashlight, and then if you hit it twice, then it's like a directional, kind of like a spot type of flashlight. Not, it's not hands-free like a, like a headlamp would be, but in the dark, it's really great. Uh, especially, you know, helping your buddy out, he's looking for something, or if you just want to set it on its side and kind of light up a whole area, really good for that. And then also in the front, there's a red laser. So you can have a laser pointer, which is awesome. If you guys can see that. And that's great for when you're rigging or when you're just having conversations with the gaffer or DP on a set. Um, just be like, okay, you want the light right there or right there? Before you go climbing up on the ladder and adjusting all kinds of different things and setting things up, it's really, really good conversation or a uh, communication tool to be able to show people things or, hey, I'm going to put this there and do that with that and that is going to hit them there. And it's just, it's cool to have a laser on set. It, uh, it really changes the way you can communicate with other people. And having a laser and two different flashlights in one, and it's also USB rechargeable. You can charge it like that, USB, USB-C. Um, so that's awesome. I just plug it in while I'm in my Jeep and it charges up the laser, charges up uh, the lights. And I, I always keep this thing in my pocket. It's like my everyday carry now, but I definitely bring it on set and use it a lot now. Um, sometimes when my headlamp is dead because this is rechargeable, so it's awesome. One more thing that I always carry on set, um, I actually just carry it all the time, whether I'm on set or just in my vehicle, 
is a good first aid kit. I always have a first aid kit with me. Check out what I keep inside of here. Inside my first aid kit, let's take a look here. So on the outside, I keep uh, some hand sanitizer. Cause that's like the first thing you want to do when you go start poking around in here is make sure your hands are clean. Then once we dive inside of here, I have some pain medication. I have some rubber gloves so you can stay clean. I have some athletic tape and some medical scissors to cut the tape. Inside of this little pouch right here, I have all kinds of different gauze and bandages and things like that. Uh, here I have a space blanket for staying nice and warm. Uh, if somebody's, you know, in a life or death situation, they need to stay warm, space blanket doesn't up, take up any space and it keeps you really warm. It could save your life. And then I have this stuff. I've been using this for a long time. It's uh, it's called Combat One Field Foam. It's really amazing. It uh, protects your skin and seals up any kind of wounds. It's really nice to have. And then over here, I have a bullet trauma kit and a also a Z-Pack dressing. So this is like a wound dressing for burns or any kind of like really severe, uh, like a gunshot wound or something like that, or somebody gets cut or stabbed. This is this is the thing to go to. Any little small little cuts or things like that. I have just regular clotting gauze, and then I also have you know just some triple antibiotic to seal and uh, disinfect their wounds but this is also really good for that too so that's what's inside my first aid kit what I keep with me at all times also this first aid kit is pretty cool it's got like little mole straps so you can attach gear to it it also has velcro on it so you can kind of do like a, a little like uh, rip away sort of area so if you want to keep this like attached in your vehicle or something or behind your headrest and then you want to quickly access it you can just pull the velcro off and uh, separate it from wherever it's attached so you can have it kind of mounted. Um, I don't usually do that. I, pro I usually just keep the whole thing together, but it's kind of nice to have. But yeah, just trying to upgrade my kit and just have everything I need when I'm out on set. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed checking out what's in my kit, what's in my grip bag uh, when I go out to work as a key grip. My goal right now is to join the local 80, so I just got my did my orientation, and right now I'm on track to get my 30 days, so I need to work 30 union days, and then I can join the union, and I'm really excited for that because that opens up a lot of opportunities for uh, retirement, pension, uh, health insurance, um, you know, minimum pay rate. Uh, they just they protect you in a lot of ways so that, that's my goal right now is to join the grip union the local lady and uh, adding a few different tools that are necessary to my kit is going to help me achieve that goal so once again i'm scott stevenson thanks for watching feel free to check out my past videos as well as subscribe to see my future ones peace